Hey, Blondie here, and you're probably wondering why I'm sitting behind my camera while it's focused right on the bed here. And look, there's my hand. Ooh. Uh, to be frank, I'm kind of ripping off Dr. Ashton's here. Um, except I'm not going to attempt a British accent. I'll spare you that, at least. But the reason why I'm filming like this is because, well, there is something I wanted to review, or at least show you, that I find very absurd and hilarious. Um... Which is why I'm doing it in, well, Dr. Ashton's usual format. And, like Dr. Ashton's, it's something of a, well, tatty nature, I guess you could say. I would even call it, see, uh, excuse me, I'm having a hard time doing this right on the spot. You'll have to forgive me, but I'm doing my best here. Anyway, so, yeah, it's quite a stretch to even call this a game review at all. It really is just sort of an impromptu on the spot looking over of something that I find hilarious so but at the very least it is game related and game music related at that which is probably even more confusing to you why this is just me talking behind the camera while it's focused on my bed here but what I'm gonna show you is this this is a Guitar Hero uh, electronic toy device thing that I got I think a few years ago it came free in a cereal box, you know, because, uh, you know, obviously when you grow up and you have cereal, you get toys and stuff in them for free. And uh, so, and this was back during the whole Guitar Hero craze. And, uh, you know, what I find funny about this is that I remember a few years ago I was in Toronto uh, with, my, with my friend and even uh, was war. We saw a Tiger Electronic version of Guitar Hero. And it, and it said on the box, it really works. <laughs> Which is always a promising thing to put on your packaging. Uh, so because of that, I thought, oh, it couldn't get any worse, right? Well, there's this. This is actually worse than a Tiger Electronic version of Guitar Hero. And I'm going to show you why. So... I guess we'll just go over the device here quickly. So it's a, as you can see, it's very small. It just, it's a very small device, and you just have three buttons. And this is supposed to be the, you know, the guitar strum. You know, these are the, I guess, the frets. You have to forgive me. I'm not an expert in guitars or anything, or even this game because. While I have played Guitar Hero, I've mostly played Rock Band at conventions and stuff, you know, because, well, Rock Band is probably the superior cousin of the of the music series. I mean, it's still around while Activision sort of dropped this. Whoops. Anyway, so, yeah, there's not much to it. And that's just the off switch there, and uh, the back there just says uh, Guitar Hero, copyright, blah, 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 Made in China, all that stuff. Uh, it, it's from... Kellogg, so probably came to, I don't remember which cereal it came from. Probably a box of cornflakes, I don't know. But yeah. So, without further ado, I guess I'll just turn it on here. Oh yeah, look at all that. Now, you press the button here, and look at that, you got a little status bar and everything, and uh oh, oh, there we go, I got it. Yeah. Oh, my meter's going up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you just have three notes, and you might notice a very, um, something very distinct about this. If you listen very carefully... Yeah, you hear that? If you don't hear anything, that means you're right. There's absolutely no sound coming for this. Now, for something that's based off of a very popular... Oh, I missed a note. Boo! For something that's based off of a very popular music series, especially at the time this this was this came out in cereal boxes or whatever, you would think that at least it would make noise. But of course, oh look at that! Oh, I'm on level two now. Yeah. Now you think with something that came out based on a music game, it would at least make sound. But but if you think about it, even if it did make sound, it's not resembling any sort of like song. It's just it's like so simplistic, it's just literally three notes going down, and you just have to press each corresponding button at the right time. I mean, 
I know this is a free thing that came in a cereal box, and goddamn, I missed that note again. Oh well. Oh no, I, my meter went slightly down. Whatever shall I do if I lose? So, this is why I find it so absurd that they would release something like this free in a cereal box, and yet it's literally something that you can just play for like five minutes, and that's it. There's nothing to it at all. I mean, oh, look at that, I'm on level three. Oh my god, the notes are slightly faster. Oh, look at that, two on, two on screen, two at once on screen, holy shit. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, I mean... <laughs> and I'm moving my tripod. This is such a good review. I mean, Game Watch Gallery games are like, are super complex compared to this shit. I mean... <laughs> It's like, I don't know. To me, it's like, why even bother? You could go to like, freaking, whoa, holy shit, did the screen, the game break? Oh, no. It just means I won. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I literally played the game for like, not even five minutes, and that's it. It's done. <sighs> You literally can just, and that's it. At this point, most people will probably just throw it away because it really is that worthless. But as I was saying, you can go to like Walmart, you can pick up a Tiger Electronic toy for, I don't know how much they are, but I imagine it'd be very cheap. <sighs> and you might be thinking too, but saying, oh, it's just a little, it's just a little cheap toy they throw in a cereal box. I mean, it's no big deal, right? Well. It is kind of a big deal to me because even at around at the time they were giving out stuff like like computer games in cereal boxes. Like this isn't just, you know, some little cheap belt, like cheap little whistle or something like when we were growing up, you know. They they're actually they actually are starting to put more elaborate things into cereal boxes to give out for free. Or at least they did. At least they did a few years ago. Like for example, I have a copies of Roller Coaster Tycoon and Battleship that came free with with cereal boxes and they and they, they were free Ser seriously free in cereal boxes they came with right with the cereal box and you know it's free computer games though so that's awesome especially Roller Coaster Tycoon I really liked playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and then I got this game and I'm like holy shit it came free with a cereal box <sighs> But of course, they can't all just be uh, computer games like that, or movies, or whatever. It has to be shit like this. I think this is actually a perfect metaphor of the cash-in of the Guitar Hero series and its downfall. I really think it is. Activision should have taken note of this. <sighs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu review of this really shitty and worthless piece of plastic with minor oh I pressed it again oh no oh I got it haha <laughs> yeah and uh, I just wanted to do this because well I couldn't record this with my old uh you know I'm just gonna leave to see what happens I'm just gonna and with my old camera I couldn't record this up close thankfully that I have a camcorder with autofocus I'm able to now so that's why I'm doing this I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll just watch this fail eventually. God, this is the slowest thing in the world. And yet, it's only a few minutes long at the same time. How does that work? Oh no, my rock meter is empty. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Come on. Jeez, it takes a little long time to fail out. Okay, is it stuck in purgatory? Do you literally have to play the game to raise the meter enough and keep it going at that kind of constant rate to keep going to the next level? I mean, you can't even die. There's no game over. Okay, never mind. I'm just an idiot. <sighs> but it really seemed like it was just going on forever until I actually did something. <sighs> Oh, jeez, this has been going on for almost 10 minutes now, so I think I'm just going to stop it right here. Alright, this is Blondie. Thanks for watching.